Hi, my name is Shristi. I've been having a bit of a look recently at the new version of MeanJS. Uh, I caught up with the core contributors recently um, and I thought it'd be cool to uh, give you a bit of a uh, bit of a sneak peek into what's coming um, because there are a few changes in the works in the new version, which is pretty exciting for us all. So what I've got open here on my screen is um, the mean project that I put together as part of the 30 day mean stack challenge um, that I finished recently. Um, and on the right hand side here, I've actually got uh, a, a copy of the, uh, the new version of, um, of the, of the mean JS stack. So that's what we're looking at um, on the left and the right. Let's just have a quick look through. So when we, uh, when we look at the folders, we, um, in the, in the current version or in the previous version um, of uh, MeanJS, we had four key folders. We had app, config, node modules, and public. And looking across um, in the new version, um, well, we've still got config. Um, we've got modules now. We've got node modules and we've got public. So there's been a few changes um, in, in, the, in the structure. So in this video, I'm going to focus on really just giving you a really high level overview of the, the folder kind of structure changes and where um, things were and where they are looking to be. And I say looking to be because um, there still may be some changes that get made um, to the to the structure, to the files in the new version of MeanJS um, because things are still you know, being discussed and being confirmed and things like that. So, um, but you know, generally I expect most of them to say, um, yeah, more or less the same from a, from a structure perspective. So, so we know there's a few different sort of file names, especially we've got a modules folder now, which we didn't have before, and app has kind of disappeared. Um, but let's have a look down at some of the files here. So um, from Bowerassi pretty much down to Fig, we're more or less the same um, as we were previously. But we've also got um, a file here for, for SSL certs, which I have noticed has been actually added into the current version of um, MeanJS. So if you've taken a recent copy, you will have that, that file too. Also something that's really cool, something that's, um, that I'm really excited about is that we've also got um, a gulp file here. Now you'll notice that in my version here, I've got a grunt file as well as a gulp file. Now, if you're going through um, the generator and you, if you use the generator to set up um, MeanJS, um, it's likely the generator will actually ask you um, which one you want to use. So you would only ever use one. You wouldn't you wouldn't use both of them. Um, these files are pretty much the same here. And then the last one we've got is we've got a protractor down the bottom, and and protractor is using for protractor is used for um, for testing as well. So that's what um, that's all about. So that's not too different. Um, you know, the, the key ones that stand out are SSL and Gulp. Um, and SSL, as I mentioned, is already in the current version of, um, or the new new current version of um, MeanJS. All right, so you, you're kind of cool with that, but what we're really interested in is what are these folders up here? What's going on? Why are they different? So let's, um, let's step through each one um, and figure out what's changed and where things are going to go. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to start at the bottom. I usually like to start from the bottom and um, Let's have a look at what's going on in public. So I open the folder here. So this is the current version of MeanJS, and this is version 004 of MeanJS. And you can just see straight away, um, there's a few, a couple of less files um, kind of going on in, um, in, in this structure. So we've still got dist, so the, the distribution files will live here. Uh, we've got live, which is where our, um, our, our Bower files, or our front end um, packages that our app users will live. Um, and in the current version, we've got um, modules, but you've already noticed that in version 004, modules is actually um, a high level folder in its own right. So that's exactly what's happened here. So these modules that used to live under public are moving across into their own folder um, over here. But we've still got these two files here. We've got application and we've got config. So let's have a look at where they now sit. So I'm going to open modules in um, 004. So I just jumped down to core. When I look at core, there's a couple of things I can see here. I've got a folder for client, I've got a folder for server, and I've got one for test. All of the um, files that Angular uses, or all the files that live on the front end, are now going to sit in client. 
and all of the server related or backend files are now going to live in server. So let's have a look at client. Uh, if we go down to app, we see that there's two files, um, config and init. And these two are the equivalent of the application, the config file that we had under the public uh, modules folder previously. All right, cool. So that's, hope I haven't lost you yet. Um, that's public, but that's, um, that's kind of where those files live. All right, cool. So let's have a look at something else. I'll just close this up, close up modules, co close up public. All right, the next folder I'm going to look at is, um, is node modules. And you can see that node modules um, in the existing version of mean and node modules in the new version of mean are, are pretty much um, exactly the same. So there's no real change in, um, in what's going on there. That's where your uh, node packages will live, um, primarily your server-side packages. So that's where that's all going to happen. No, no major sort of changes going on there. Um, for the next one, I'm actually going to skip one. I'm going to just jump up to app um, and open up app. So in app, um, if, you, if you recall, app is where we stored all our server-side related files, right? So these were the files um, that related to Express, to the Express routes, um, our controllers, they um, had the code that defined how we were going to query the Mongo database, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the way that they were broken up is when you looked at, say, controllers, you then had the core or the customers or all your different entities kind of sitting under there. Same deal with, say, models. You've got your customers and users. Um, say, routes, we had core and customers and users. So they were, they were kind of grouped um, based on the function that they were performing. So whether a controller, a model, a route, so on and so forth. Um, but when we, when we move across to version 4, that's going to change up slightly. So if we go back to, um, to where we were, so if we go to modules, um, so I'll, I'll go back, I'll just have a look again at core. So we, we had a look at client and we said that, well, these files that are in client, um, they're, they're pretty much the files that lived um, in public modules over here. So um, the files that were sort of down here in core modules have now moved up to our client. Um, but we've also got this server file. And in server is where we actually will start to see um, the individual files based on the module um, that used to live in app. So for example, um, here we've got core and we've got errors, but we don't have the server file for users, for example, because we'd expect that to actually go into a module which is called users. Um, so, so that's kind of how the breakdown's going to happen, where instead of having a separate area for app, um, which was our server-related details, and a separate place for modules, which was just our client-side files, they're coming together so that um, you've got these different modules that now will contain both the client and server-side files. Um, and they will all be grouped. So the, the, the great thing about this is if you're then um, needing to upgrade your project and other files around the project have changed, um, or you know, your server-related files have changed, or if you just want to reuse a module, you'll be able to just copy that module and drop it into um, another project that that allows you to um, to pick up the files again. So, so it should save us a lot of time when we're going through um, upgrading our files. Um, all right, so let's close that up and have a quick look at the folder that we haven't looked at yet, which is config. Um, so previously, config had environment, had strategies, and then it sort of split into Express and Passport and so on and so forth. In the new version, it's slightly different. So let's have a look at that. So we go across the config. Um, we've now got um, this concept of assets as well as environment. And we've also got a library folder in here too. So I'm just going to open up assets. Um, and when you're looking at assets, these files should be more or less similar to you because they are more or less um, the same as the files that we used to have over in an environment. So all kind of becomes default and the rest of them kind of play out as they, um, as they previously did. But uh, all the environment related details for those files have been split into their own 
um, folder in their own section just to make it easier for you to be able to split between your environment related things such as you know, your, your references or your strings to your Mongo database versus your assets which might be your CSS files or your libraries that you've added in um, and using for your app. So a slight difference there but more or less these two folders um, are really just taking what used to be the environment and actually breaking it down into, into two different areas. Cool, that's cool. So let's have a look at what else we have here. So um, we've also got this strategies folder and we've got these um, four files that, that we had um, in the previous version. And what, what's happened is um, Express, for example, has moved across to, um, to library. So it's moved into this live folder. Um, Mongoose has got its own folder, so that's a new one. Um, and Socket.io has been introduced as well, so that's um, that's pretty handy. Um, and pretty much these other files like config and um, init have been combined um, and they've been um, moved into this config.js file. So there's been a few kind of changes behind the scenes, but a lot of what you used to have and what you know still exists in some way um, in the in the new version. All right, and then what we have is the strategies folder. So we had the strategies for Facebook and GitHub and so on and so forth. For this, so this was what we were using um, when we want to allow users to um, log into our app using Facebook, for example, we'd use the Facebook strategy. Um, so how do I find that? Where's that gone now? Well, that's now in, um, in modules. So if I jump across to modules, uh, jump down to users, um, and go to server, um, and then I just need to go across to config, and then there are the strategies again. So they've just been kind of moved into um, their own module, which is related to users. So users has its own module, um, its own client and server side files um, live down here. And the last is, um, is Passport. And Passport has been moved across, or most of the details within it have been moved across into this users.server config file because it relates to the server related details for the users module um, which uh, which allows us to then log in using the the different strategies um, all right so i have talked about a whole heap of different files um, kept it quite high level um, i hope that helps in giving you a little bit of an idea of what's coming it is pretty exciting it is also a bit of a change to what we're used to um, but i'd love to hear what you think um, and uh, yeah we'll be exploring the actual files in more detail um, over the next few weeks um, and and yeah we can we can work through trying to also move across our main project into the new structure. Um, so thanks for joining me. Um, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details and I'll see you again soon.